So that's about what I can do on the back. Okay. All right, uh, now at this point, I'm going to take the time to measure JVD. So I find this journal angle. I put up my straight edge. And, well, how about negative? Like zero. So he has no JVD at all. So it's below my zero mark. So you'll, you'll survive. Now, you have a choice of finishing up the respiratory and starting heart, or you can do heart first and then respiratory. So want to finish up respiratory. Now, I'm not going to make you percuss and do that whole thing over again, because you can't percuss on women. But we can actually palpate. Now, say 99, please. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, so just diminishes in the periphery. Now, any tenderness? No. Okay, good. Where do women get tenderness in the chest wall? It's something called costochondritis. Where do you get that? Never had it during your menstrual period? I'm long past that. Before, Before. Yeah. Where the cartilage meets the bone. Okay, now, let me listen, please. Now, I am going to listen above the apices. Will you put your mouth open, please? Okay, that's a vesicular sound. Okay. Okay, that's three to one. Now, I'm going to find my second intercostal, because that's my left main stem. Bunga vesicular. Right main stem, right middle lobe, left lingula, which is just the reciprocal part of the left lower lobe. So breast sounds are clear, and I'm not going to make you do a gophony again. Now I'm ready to do the heart. Okay. Now I really am using one finger to locate the apical pulse. What I want to see you do is to actually show me where the learn marks are. So go to the external angle, find the second intercostal space, third rib, third intercostal, fourth rib, fourth intercostal, fifth intercostal, right there. So his point of maximal impulse is one by two, just like the film. It'll be okay. Okay, now this tells me where to start to take my pulse. And normally you'd do this, but if someone in reality has a big chest or what have you, large breasts, you can't hear it. Most people are going to start here at the aortic area to get their pulse. You don't have to do that for me. I know you can do this. But what you do need to do is to say, okay, S1 is greater than S2 at the mitral area. Then move to the tricuspid area. S1 is greater than S2 at the tricuspid area. Okay, S1 is greater than S2 at the herbs area, and locate them to where I am. Okay, at the pulmonic area, S2 is greater than S1, and at the aortic area, S2 is greater than S1. Now, all of these are high-pitched sounds, so I'm using the diaphragm. Now, when I go back, I'm going to push in a little harder and try to focus on S1 and S2. And what I will say is I hear no murmurs, no S3, no S4. Now for two bonus points, I'll ask you about the cadence of an S3, S4, and the causes. So the, here's the fun part. Now I'll play this to Julian and we we'll see if he gets it right. Now we know that S3 comes right after S2, okay Julian? Mm -hmm. Alright, good. Now, that would mean that S3 is an early diastolic sound, right? Because S1 starts systole and S2 starts diastole. Mm -hmm. And S4 is a late diastolic sound, so that would put it right in front of S1. So tell me what type of gallop I've got here. Here's S1 and S2. So what's this? S3. S3. Good! Yay! Good! And you're on YouTube. Okay, <laughs> so S3 is right. You can really hear it. So if you remember lub da dub, mm -hmm. lub da dub, after locating S1 and S2, that's your S3. Now listen to S4. Here's S1, S2. Hear it? Mm -hmm. Tennessee, 
10SC, that says 4, S1, S2. So two extra points if you can tell me what it sounds like and you can tell me what it causes. What causes it. Now that's great. Lovely. Now, so basically I located all the places. I palpated. There are no pulsations that are large. Now I will tell you a favorite test question. When you palpate, if you feel a vibration and you happen to hear a murmur over the same place, that is a thrill. So a palpable murmur that causes a buzz like 99, that is actually a, a test question that the lecturers almost always put on. So that would be a thrill. And that means it's four out of six in terms of its loudness. So it could be a five or a six, but it's at least four out of six. So that's not so hard, is it? So that should just be a few minutes. Then what we will do, 